Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan Deep, and thanks for tuning in to how to set up templates in FL Studio. So in this session, you're going to find out how much more efficient it is to run templates before all your sessions. All right, so let's get started. I've already made a template already. And uh, let me just open it up and show you. So, bang, nothing new yet, but uh, as you can see, in my mixer, I've inserted track plug 5 into four of my channels. I would probably do up to 20, but I just wanted to prove my points. So, as you can see, you know, 1 to 4, I have my track plug. And I'm going to say this, and I can't stress more enough, that track plug needs to be in all of your channels. Like, this this VST is way too good, and uh, it's just more efficient. You got a gate, two, two compressors, you got a limiter... You got an EQ, like what more do you want, right? Like this is everything you need all in one, all in one box. You know what I'm saying? Um, all right, so I want to show you how to create templates. So if there's a certain plugin that you want, let me show you how to do that. You're gonna basically open a new project, right? Make it fresh, uh, or make it empty. Let's start here. Go to empty, right? There's nothing, 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 nothing. I'm gonna insert. Let's see the track plug on this one. Where is it? Track plug. There you go. And I'm also going to insert, let's say, a reverb, just so we know it's different. There you go. So if that's what you want to set up for your vocals, all you need is a reverb, track plug, bang. This is how we do it. We're going to go save as, just like that. Okay, now it brings up this window here where you can, you know, save all your songs or whatever. But let's go into templates. You can go in any of the other, you know, any one of these folders here, but... We're going to go into minimal, and then we're going to create a folder, and we're going to go custom. Just like that, go inside, and we'll call this vocals. So every time I want to do vocals right from the get-go, I can now use it. It's probably going to start up with that template, but we'll find out. Oh, good. So it opened up without. It opened up and empty. Either way, let's go into my vocals here. See, it has created a little spot for it. And bang, there is my template. Remember, channel one, track plug and reverb. So that's pretty much it for it. Um, if you have the track plug or Power Suite 5 from Wavars, I suggest you put it from 1 to 20. This is such a great program. I'm going to start using my Let's Begin, uh, 1 to 4. I'm going to update it as well and go all the way to 20 and uh, probably put reverbs and uh, and delays on my sends, 1 and 2, you know, just the different tempos and whatever. And, yeah, if you guys have any more, you know, questions on these tips and tricks and templates and all, everything about FL Studio, don't be afraid to leave a comment below. Press like if you like it, you know, you leave it alone if you don't like it. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you guys later. Peace!